What? <laughs> What's up boys and girls, it's Plato here, back with another video! I actually had something different planned for today's video, but then my brother showed me a video of some guy creating his own candy floss machine. And I was like mind blown. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do in today's video. We're gonna make our very own candy floss machine. Instead of just me talking for another hour, let's just get going. So what we'll need is a grinder and a lid and the lid is going to be sort of our container which is going to create the candy flush. So we'll have to create holes all around this here. So tiny holes which will which will poke outside which will create the candy flush somehow I hope. I have no idea. I just had to cut the camera because I had to make holes all around it and by hammering it down on the table, I would end up creating holes in the table. But hopefully, when, when we put it on the grinder, this year will spin with the sugar in here and create the candy flush. So uh, now we have to make this year fit on the grinder. So we'll take this year and we'll place it on top of here. So we can sort of create the hole in here so we place it properly. We have this giant, gigantic hole. We take our grind and we place it on top of here. Here it, it's more or less perfect. We should have it tight now. This year is a little bit tilty, but not too much. So it's perfect now. So yeah, we have this weird looking grinder and uh, now we have our machine. Now we just need the foundation to place it inside. So let's just get going. Where well, we're gonna drill a hole down around here so that we can put this year inside of it and sort of this year will be our protection that the candy floss will not fly all over the place. Uh, so now we have it in here and we have it through this hole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, take a coke bottle and cut it up so we can have a protection from the candy floss and it will not destroy the grinder. So now it should have protection around it, as you can see. So yeah, I think the only thing we need now is just to cook some sugar, to heat it, to heat some sugar, and pour sugar on here. That should actually do it. If it's gonna work, I have no idea, but uh, since it's me, most likely not. So we are now finally at the end. We've heated up some, finally, finally. We've now created the candy floss machine, and we've heated up some sugar, so that it's fluent now, and we should now pour it on here. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, man, I have actually made a candy flash machine. I have no idea if this is going to work and if it's even a brilliant idea. But uh, fingers crossed, man, please let this year work. I holy shit that worked but just look man we have caramel all over the place now or well, sugar all over the place so now for the moment of truth oh it is actually candy floss holy shit that's dope that's some next level shit man I have, whoa so uh, does it actually taste good Mm, it has the candy floss idea, but it tastes really, really bad. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I why did I uh, have any idea that this year would be something good to do? So thank you guys so much for watching this weird as DIY. This was definitely a success. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any idea of candy floss we should make with different kinds of flavors. 
because we can do that now, now that I have my very own Candy Plus machine, even though it's really, really weird and it's really messy now. <laughs> but uh, I truly hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to leave a like man and subscribe if you are new to this channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace!